What's up everyone, it's Smith here from GamersHeroes.com and today I've got a quick guide for you in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on how to get yourself some fire resist gear. Now we're going to go over two methods for this, cheap and easy and then one that's a bit more expensive but more effective. So first up we're going to go for the free method. Basically you want to head down to this location here, this is just south of the Goron village, uh, you'll sort of come into this area on the way there. There's a small alcove down here and you will find these fire resist lizards. Now what you've got to do is kill these, rock these up into a potion, and they will give you fire resist. This works for exploring most of the Goron area, um, Death Mountain. Once you get into the, towards the end, I don't want to spoil anything, but you will need the gear because you're in a fire area for a lot longer period of time. So once you've got the lizards, you're good to go for the basics exploring, but you definitely want to upgrade and get the actual gear. Now the gear you can find at the Goron City, but it's very expensive, so there is an alternative option. Um, the pants are 1400, the chest plate is 700, and the helmet is like 1400. So that's about three grand. Way too much for early on in the game. This is the first place I come to. So, what you want to do is you want to get the pants, the, sorry, the chest piece. They're 700, which is a lot more manageable. You can quite easily get that early on in the game. And then, what you want to do is head to this location on the map. This is just north of Death Mountain. There's a side quest you get when you complete the Goron area to come here, but I'm pretty sure you can just come here at any point. All you need is the ability to destroy a walk rule. So you can use your Goron's psychic ability if you've got him with you. You can use rocks to destroy it. So you get a stick, combine it with a boulder, and you can destroy the rock that way. Um, or you can use a bomb, anything. Once you go in there, you can get to the back and you will get a special helmet. It's not part of the Flame Breaker set, but it gives you Flame Guard. You only need two. So the boots or the chest piece, sorry, and the helmet is enough for you to explore everywhere. And it's only going to cost you 700. And remember, just for future reference, Fire resist is not the same as heat resistance. So when you go into the desert, this stuff won't work. It goes nice and quick, nice and easy. Get what you need and get back to the game. If we helped you out today, do like, subscribe, I do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care now.